हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand amplitude modulation in time domain representation. First, let us define the amplitude modulation. The amplitude modulation is a process of altering the amplitude of carrier signal with respect to instantaneous value of message signal. by keeping frequency and phase of carrier signal constant so we can define amplitude modulation as a process of altering the amplitude of a carrier signal with respect to instantaneous value of message signal by keeping frequency and phase of carrier signal constant so here we are taking a carrier signal and we are varying the amplitude of carrier signal with respect to message signal and we are keeping frequency and phase as constant mathematically message signal is given as m of t is equal to am cos 2 pi fmt let us call this as equation number 1 here am is the amplitude of message signal and fm is the frequency of the message signal now instantaneous value of carrier signal is given as c of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi fct let us call this as equation number 2 here ac is the amplitude of carrier signal and fc is the frequency of the carrier signal the modulated signal is given as s of t is equal to ac into 1 plus k a m of t into cos 2 pi fct let us call this as equation number 3 so this is the expression for modulated signal which consists of both carrier signal as well as message signal now in this equation number 3 let us substitute the value of message signal let us put equation number 1 in equation number 3 so we can write s of t is equal to ac into 1 plus k a am cos 2 pi fmt into cos 2 pi fct here k a am we can write it as a new term which is mu which is the modulation index therefore we can write s of t is equal to ac into 1 plus mu cos 2 pi fmt into cos 2 pi fct now let us multiply this ac with these terms so you can write the expression as s of t is equal to ac plus mu ac cos 2 pi fmt into cos 2 pi fct now let us multiply this cos term with these terms so we can write s of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi fct plus mu ac cos 2 pi fct into cos 2 pi fmt let us call this as equation number 4 in this equation we are having two cos terms which are multiplied that's why we can use the formula 
cos a cos b is equal to 1 by 2 into cos a minus b plus cos a plus b. Using this formula, we can write equation 4 ac cos 2 pi fc t plus mu ac by 2 cos 2 pi into fc minus fm plus mu ac by 2 cos 2 pi into fc plus fm this is nothing but s of t so this is the final expression for amplitude modulation in time domain representation now for this we need to represent using a waveform here in this expression this is the carrier signal this is the lower side band and this is the upper side band so in this expression this equation is the carrier signal this is the lower side band of the am signal and this is the upper side band of the am signal so this is the equation obtained for am signal in time domain representation so this is the waveform representation of am signal in time domain representation so this is the message signal with peak value as am the signal can be represented as m of t is equal to am cos 2 pi fmt this is the amplitude modulated signal here as you can see the amplitude of carrier signal is varied by keeping frequency and phase of the signal constant this is the peak value of carrier signal so this peak we can write it as a maximum which is equal to ac into 1 plus mu and this peak we can represent it as a minimum is equal to ac into 1 minus mu this is about amplitude modulation in time domain representation hope you have understood the topic thank you